Hello there, I'm Mike Creevy for Homeschool Connections, and with me today to talk about his Homeschool Connections courses is Kyle Moore. Kyle, how you doing? I'm good. Good. Thank you for um, having me. Um, uh, I'm very excited about this course, so this should be this should be good. Yeah, well, and so I uh, just as I've been doing with all these, just want to ask you if you know you want to share a little bit about your own background and kind of what brought you to Homeschool Connections in the first place. Well, um, starting off, I've been uh, in Catholic education for about 18 years now. Um, and what brought me to Homeschool Connections was actually my wife. She's also an instructor for Homeschool Connections, uh, Dr. Christy Moore. She teaches uh, the psychology class. And she was doing that, and it looked like a lot of fun. <clears throat> I asked if they needed theology professors or history or instructors. And mm -hmm. uh, in fact, they did. They needed a history instructor. So here I am. There you go. And, I, and now that you mentioned that, it's funny. The, the background looks pretty familiar because I was just talking to her the other day. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. <laughs> very cool. Um, and so with your own, uh, as far as your own interest in in, uh, in military history in particular, is, is this a, a particular area that you tend to foco focus on? Or is this just, you know, like a, a broader sort of subset of, of other areas in history that you like to focus on? I, I love all history, but I, I very much enjoy American history. Um <clears throat> I got more involved in it. Uh, growing up, I had veterans that lived all around me from World War II, Korea, Vietnam. Sure. And so just hearing their stories uh, when I'd be at, uh, at their homes, if my dad was playing cards or something like that and overhearing that always uh, sparked my interest. So I was always the kid uh, at the library getting history books or uh, we had cable growing up. I'd be watching the History Channel when they still had history on the History Channel and stuff like <laughs> that. So um, yeah. that, that's how I got into history. Sure. Yeah, I think we're kindred spirits in that regard because it's always been a real a profound interest of, of mine. Is there a particular area? You know, you mentioned American history. Is there a certain time period, certain expertise, you know, that, that you really focus on? Well, for uh, purposes of, of like the class that I'm teaching, I try to focus more on uh, each conflict and how it affected the culture at its time. Uh, for example, the Revolutionary War was um, basically, if you look at it through one lens, everyone was a traitor. When, you know, mm -hmm. they're rebelling against their their own um, their own king, and then you look at something else like World War II, where it was you can't get more stark against good and evil uh, with yeah. Imperial Japan and, and Nazi Germany against uh, you know basically the rest of the world, and what uh, just average people did had to stand up to that, and the sacrifices that every citizen made uh, around the planet to to stop that. Yeah, that's always been particularly interesting to me. Uh, and, and compelling where you see, like, so my wife and I really enjoy Foil's War, you know, the uh, BBC series about, you know, kind of what's going on in the home front in Great Britain during World War II and all those challenges. And, um, and so we've seen that recently in a lot of the episodes, it's just like, you know, the kids going around and gathering rubber, or gathering tin cans and all this kind of stuff, just to see, um, you know, that kind of, of commitment, the recognition of the importance of, of everyone kind of being part of this, 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 you know, grand effort against evil. But of course, then, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've touched on some of the other conflicts or even in those conflicts, you know, where, uh, it, well, let me ask you, do you see a, a good opportunity in class, you know, to be able to explore through, you know, those different conflicts, uh, perennial questions, right, of, of good and evil, just war, you know, especially things that connect with our faith, any of that stuff that, that really strikes you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a, a big part of the course. So every conflict that they cover <clears throat> at the end, will have a recap based on was was this just or can you justify this according to Catholic doctrine? And we'll primarily be using the catechism that pulls from uh, um, St. Augustine's just war theory. You know, mm -hmm. was it was it did it fit the criteria of um, was it did, did it have to happen? Is it proportional and things like that? Sure. And <clears throat> oftentimes, yes. You could say that when we engaged in something, America engaged in something, it was. But they're going to find in this course, um, and it only it goes from the Revolution to World War II, they're going to find in this course that some of these conflicts may not have been as um, streamlined, uh, according yeah. to the just war theory, than, than maybe right. they had thought before. Right, sure. And, and, and I guess so kind of along with that, is there anything in particular that, you know, you've experienced before that you anticipate that's maybe a little more challenging, you know, for, for you in terms of, of, you know, leading your students through that? And, and also with that, I'm not sure what age, what age group here we're, we're primarily it's, focused uh, on. 10th right? grade to 12th grade. And Go ahead. it's, yeah, yeah one of the, some of those things when you're learning history um, and you find something that's difficult, you know, you have to uh, kind of digest it and, and, you know, when I see something that maybe America ha has done, and they've done, mm -hmm. we've done so much as a country, and our military's done so many great things, you know, you know, one rotten apple doesn't 
spoiled a bunch and you got to look yeah. at kind of look at it from that perspective and and then the, the lessons you learn from those uh, mistakes that we've made so we don't make them again and sure. i think that's one thing that we distilled in them and i try you know i, I always think too that you have to be careful in one sense you know hindsight is twenty twenty, but also you can't use that as a general you know, principle to just excuse any decision in the moment, <laughs> of course, yeah, you know, like, well, we'll learn more about this eventually. So we don't have to think it through too much now. Um, so that, that's an interesting dynamic as well to be able to, um, I, I've seen that with my students, you know, when we talked about things like, um, in a theology class setting, if, if something like the, the justification of, of using nuclear weapons or that kind of stuff, it, it is something that high schoolers really, I think, find intriguing and, and, uh, you know, it's significant, right? To, to dig into yeah. it, to really think about in a way that really matters. So yeah, that, so the, the nuclear uh, weapons, since we do stop at World War II, will be a large part of that lesson. Um, and they will actually have to defend one side or the other if President mm -hmm. Truman was justified in, um, in dropping two of the bombs sure. on uh, Japan. And then they'll have to take a hard look at it. Um, yeah. They'll see, they'll read material uh, justifying yes, and then saying, no, it wasn't justified. And I, wrote one of my thesis in my moral theology course actually on that question was president Truman justified, not our nuclear weapons justified, but was he justified because one of the arguments was he didn't have all the data in front of him. Like we do now about mm. just how bad those weapons were when he made the decision. So that, that's kind of the things that they'll look at. So the, they'll learn, you know, facts and dates, but they're also going to, you know, hopefully take some nuggets with them that where they can apply their faith to. Sure. Well, Kyle, you know, anything else you want to share here with uh, our, our viewers as far as, you know, how parents or students, for that matter, how best to get in touch with you to learn more? Sure. Yeah, I have an email. It's um, my name, Kyle dot more uh, dot homeschool at Gmail dot com. So not too hard. <laughs> good, good deal. So thank you, Kyle, so much for stopping by and sharing with us today about your homeschool connections courses. Oh, awesome. Thank you for having me and God bless you, too.